What is going on, you guys? Chach come back at you with another video. Today, custom homemade Lava Hound deck playing in GC. We'll get right into it. Game number one right now. Alrighty, guys. So, into game number one here versus Squiggly Line, Squiggly Line, Squiggly Line. And yeah, I made this deck about uh, two minutes ago. And I think, uh, you know, just looking at it, it seems like it's going to work out pretty well for us. Um, it's got a lot of answers for a lot of things. So. Okay, he's gonna go with a lightning, so we're just gonna go ahead and go with a Llama Hound because that lightning really doesn't get value. It takes care of uh, the Mega Minion for him. Um, and I probably should have looked at the screen because I could have gotten a pretty good Royal Delivery, but instead I get a decent one. Uh, but it's okay, we'll go ahead and do that. That's gonna be a plus one trade for us as well, and we only take a little bit of damage. Uh, let's go ahead and go with that Baby Dragon. We'll go with the Lumber Jack behind, and then we'll go right with a Heal Spirit just in case he defends with anything. And yes, he looks like he's going to defend pretty hard. And look at that value from the heal spirit. And this is exactly the reason why this deck is going to be so good here today. It's just going to get so much value regardless of what you do. And we are going to be up a little more elixir as well. And as long as he doesn't have a sort of bridge spammy-ish card, we're going to be able to defend really well. And if he does, we're going to eat a little bit of damage. Okay, might as well just lightning this. Boom, boom. Okay, and he's going to go with another Magic Archer. So, a big waste of a Magic Archer there. Yes, we will take probably about five, 600 damage or so. But reality, he just wasted a Magic Archer, which is one of his best defensive cards for a Lava Hound push. So, we're going to go ahead and load up in the right-hand lane. We don't really care about that 40 HP tower. Worst comes to worst, we lightning it. But that's not going to be ideal because he could lightning block it since it is so low. But still... We're going to trust the fact that we have a better deck than him, and we're going to be able to just shove him out of the way. So let's go ahead and just do all this, and let's prepare ourselves for the Royal Delivery that is about to fly out of the air. There it is. So we'll get our Heal Spirit right away to heal it all up, and we should be chilling, and should be able to get a pretty good push out of this. And let's just go ahead and build up a second Lava Hound, right? Exactly. Let's do that. So hopefully we can get a juicy, juicy push out of it. We'll go with a baby dragon over here, and our lumberjack will eventually die, which will mean our night witch will get a little bit of boosted energy coming out here. 40 seconds left. Let's just go with a royal delivery over here in this left-hand lane. Look at all this value coming out in the right-hand lane. Let's just send any heal spirit now over here just to heal up everything just in case we need it. And we don't really need it, but our royal delivery will take out that left-hand tower and a three crown looking like it's going to come out here. Yes, it will. GG's. We'll see you in the next game here. Alrighty, guys. So, in the game number two here versus Sashimi from Telsey. I can't even say it. Okay, let's go ahead and go. Bats, heal spirit. And that should be good enough to only allow one shot. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. Good, 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 good. Let's go ahead and just go baby dragon in the back over here. Should be able to tank for our uh, tower. So, let's kill those spear goblins. And we're still trying to figure out what he's playing. The Spear Goblin's Night Hog Rider seems like a really unique kind of deck, but we are also running a unique deck, so can't really complain right now. Those bats will die, thankfully. And now our bats should be able to take care of his knight pretty quickly here. So let's just go ahead and throw a Lava Hound in front. We'll be able to have some bats as support. Hopefully that Lava Hound crosses first. It does not, which kind of stinks, but still we'll be able to get some value uh, out of the, um, the bats over there. So let's just go with the Lumberjack over here to hopefully... Just to help out. Look at that one bat on that right hand or that left hand lane. He's just churning it out. Not sure why I really went with those heal spirit. Uh, but that's fine. We're going to see what he's going to do here. This night I can just royal delivery. I feel like that's probably our best bet. So let's go ahead and do that. And he only has level 8 royal delivery. Maybe he forgot to upgrade it or whatnot. But here we go. Let's go with our night witch. Should be able to take care of this hog rider without taking too many hits. I'm hoping for only two. But that does not seem likely. So let's go with the Baby Dragon in front. We'll keep that pressure up. We're just going to keep exchanging at the bridges. And well played there with that Knight. Going to protect those Spear Goblins. We will lose all of our troops there. And we're going to take a little bit more damage. I don't feel like defending it. Because oh, with 20 seconds left, maybe I should have. Because then we would have had the Lava Hound right as Double Elixir started. But instead, we're going to go Lava Hound in the back over here. With about a couple seconds left till Double Elixir time. About 7 seconds or so. Yeah, so... We're even. He just wasted a log. So now this is officially a five elixir lava hound, which is awesome. Can never complain about that. Let's go ahead and just go with some bats. Maybe I should have waited low key on that, but we are going to go with a fancy push. And here comes the big boy push that I've been wanting to showcase this entire time. Here it comes. The knight hopefully will stay in there. 
And our Lightning gonna get so much value there. Let's go ahead and make sure we get our Heal Spirit down here in a second. And heal up everything. Yes, sir. Lumberjack on tower. And that is going to already be towered down. Here we go with a second Lumberjack. And hopefully this bomb explodes. Yes, does not kill our, our pups. So we're able to go with some bats here. He's going to go in right with a hog. But our Lumberjack rage on the tower. Let's just go with a royal delivery. Even if we're not able to completely save our tower, we're going to get a ton of value on the king tower. And another three crown. What the heck is going on? Game number three. Hey, guys. So... Alrighty, into our third game here from XD. Um, I feel like my Royal Delivery may be a little uh, off, but it's fine. It doesn't really matter because it's got a huge radius, but XD K Price 12. Our third and final opponent of the day, and we've been having a ton of success. And if you guys are wanting to try out this deck, just remember, you have to be a little patient, okay? You always want to try to wait to double elixir for that Lava Hound unless you have a clear and obvious point of attack. Then you can go ahead and fire it in. And look at our Night Witch just going to go ahead and sneak to the tower. Get a couple bats there. Get us a good chunk of damage. Get us right back in this game. And we're going to go with a Heal Spirit. Well, actually, we're going to go with a Lumberjack and then a Heal Spirit over here, I guess. Um, so then that will take care of both lanes. Didn't really have to defend that left-hand side, but we did it anyways because we're a savage. Classic Muji bat. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go with some bats over here on that left-hand lane. And we can just go with a Royal Delivery and it's gonna pop down, clean it all up. And good there, let's go with our Night Witch right here. And it looks like our Night Witch is just about going to die, but still, again, we're just surviving. That's all we need to do. Survive until Double Elixir and the rest in the victory will be ours, okay? That's what we gotta do. Let's go with our Baby Dragon right here. It should time it just about perfectly or finesse and yeah, totally mess it up. Okay, great. Good job, Chachi. All right. 800 HP on that right-hand side. Not very great at all. So let's go with some bats here as well, and hopefully we're able to clean up this bandit before it connects. Yes, we will. Okay, so that's fine. Well, let's go with a Lava Hound in the back. If he goes with a Miner something, we have a Royal Delivery. And then, uh, yeah, with Double Elixir quickly approaching, about seven seconds away again here, we're going to be able to turn it up and hopefully put it on this guy, because look at the Elixir right now. He still has not defended anything. Oh, man. All right. Let's just get this down, and then we're going to Lightning it all away. All right. Here we go. Lightning. Boom, boom, boom. Going to kill everything. Let's go ahead and throw this Heal Spirit down as well, and we should be able to clean up this tower. Yes, sir. Bada bing, bada boom, tower falls. We can just chill and set up for a new Lava Hound because we really don't need to over defend this lane. If he goes in with anything, we just Royal Delivery it because Royal Delivery, honestly, is really busted. All right, he's only going to go with a Miner. Okay, we're going to Royal Delivery that then for sure. All right, here we go, Night Witch. I need you to um, at least take out one. Okay, one is fine. Let's go with this right here. And we got to get a Heal Spirit down as well. And he has to still defend here, which is awful for him. And here we go. Heal Spirit is so strong. We don't, he doesn't even know what he needs to do right now. We're going to be able to clutch that up. Baby Dragon's going to take it out. We are not going to be able to get the three crown this game, but we're going to get it real close. Wow. Appreciate you guys watching this really fast episode. If you enjoyed, leave that thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more original decks or more of the highest win rate decks. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.